Bye. <laughs> yes, this is real. No, I did not buy these. This video is who sponsored this video, not just sent me product. They sponsored me. Obviously, if the plants suck, I'm gonna tell you. I'm not gonna be a sellout and just be like, oh my gosh, these are really nice plants. But uh, from what I've seen online and from reviews, I think these are gonna be really nice plants. Sent me, I don't know how many plants. They sent me a list of the plants and I didn't read them, so I don't know what's in here. And I don't know how many plants. Um, each of these boxes weighs about 20 pounds, a little bit more. They are about two and a half feet long, a foot and a half wide, and maybe almost two feet deep. Very big boxes. And we are going to open all of it right now in this video. Get ready for the biggest unboxing this channel is probably ever going to have. Because I know someone wasn't listening. I didn't buy these plants. I haven't been spending any money, all right? Leave me alone. This was a gift. <laughs> All right, well, let's just roll right into this. Do you guys like my Sheba back there? Isn't he cute? I think he's so cute. Also, because I thought it would be fun, I made myself a Lil Martini to drink. It is quite literally just a bottle of lemonade that I dumped into a mug and added two shots of vodka. Here's the deal. I finished a final today that was pretty significant. I'm ready to just kind of like drink an open plant meal. You know what I mean? I haven't stirred that in a bit. <laughs> I'm so excited you guys. This is like literally going to a plant nursery. I have literally no idea what is in here <sighs> She's like judging from her site. I can only guess What could be these are plants that she buys wholesale and then sells so they're not it's not like these are gonna be in baskets So don't be like oh my gosh, she's going to Lowe's and then buying things and selling them. No She buys these wholesale and then she sells them. Oh <laughs> I already saw some good plants. I'm gonna uh, probably adjust the camera. I don't know, we're gonna go a little taller. You're gonna see my whole house. I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> Let me do a test. I feel like you can't see all of me. Wow, that's crazy. That's, this is like, the camera is pointed down so far, but this is a wide angle lens, so I guess it makes sense. I can already see two wishless plants. Oh, you guys, this is so much fun. We're going plant shopping, but in my house together. This is all of us. Also, I'm probably going to give away a couple of these because there's no way I'm going to have space to keep all of these. So stay tuned and follow me at, uh, play me actually on Instagram. All right, let's do this. Okay. Let's just go for what I see first. Okay. Let's just go for what I see first. We're going to start with this one just because I see it. It's very clearly here and it's a plant that I've been obsessed with lately. <gasps> Chris, I'm sorry if I scream. I'm just really excited. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. Oh my frick. Christopher, look. Do you see how big it is? This is Philodendron Mikeans. Look at how big it is. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to untangle this, but this is massive. Yo, this is crazy. Are you sure you don't wanna do the unboxing with me? Look at this. Raymond. Off the sink. Oh, there she goes. Hey. <laughs> Christopher, look! Oh my gosh, you're like not overwhelmed at all. You're like, yeah, it's another plant. You guys, do you see this right now? Oh my gosh. So this is a six inch Mikeans, it looks like. I wonder if she's gonna include an invoice, invoice or not. Wow, this is incredible. Well, I'm not giving this one away. <laughs> I don't see any bugs. Wow, I feel so lucky right now. Don't worry, I will definitely be giving a couple of these away. I was thinking about doing something where like you just pay shipping. So I just ship you the plant and you pay the cost of shipping. So yeah, follow me at uh, Plant Me Ashley on Instagram for more about that. Okay, this is tangled. We're gonna move on. Um, should I just like... Do we think that's dangerous? I think it's probably fine. It's a little heavy. We'll just leave that one there because it's pretty. You guys are gonna be cringing at me in the comments. Watch this. Uh, that's not safe, okay. That is the most incredible plant ever. I wonder what these prices are. Okay, the next one I see immediately. Wow, the packaging is honestly incredible. I didn't see any heat. I believe she shipped this with next day shipping because I got the tracking number yesterday. So, I don't normally know what shipping would be like for these because I don't, 
I don't know. I don't know if you can do next day shipping on her shop. I feel like I'm working at a uh, store and we're opening our new inventory. You guys are gonna die when you see this. Oh my god. Of course I would be the one to get this plant when I can't even keep these alive on my own. Sellers gotta think twice before they send me pests because I will explode about that. All right, are you ready? This is not something, I mean, I'm gonna keep this. It's beautiful. Probably give away my other smaller ones. But uh, you can probably see what it is. This is, wrapping is really good. Oh, this is in terracotta. On terracotta. What an interesting thing to do. Okay, so you guys can obviously see this is Raphidophora tetrasperma. It is beautiful. It's in terracotta, which is a very interesting choice. Check that out. What? Take a look. You're gonna like this one. That's kind of Isn't that cool? I've only had small ones. Here's a little head test. <laughs> this is absolutely gorgeous. This is, I don't really know what else to say, it's gorgeous. There is a couple parts of leaf damage, but I have heard that Rifidophor tetrasperma is notorious for how bad it ships, so. It already has quite a couple bit of growth points here that I could put kiki paste on. Okay. Woo! Massive Stromanthi Trio Star. There are one, two, three, four, five, six plants in this pot. And this is in a six inch pot. That is so beautiful. This is one of my favorite plants right now. I have two of them over there. I have little four inch ones because I can never afford these big ones. So this is an incredible gift. Again, I don't see any pests at all. There is only a little bit of leaf damage. It looks like this plant has a little cold damage. But again, this was shipped without a heat pack and it was shipped next day. But I can't imagine how many heat packs you'd have to like waste in a promo box like this. <laughs> Beautiful assortment we have going for us so far. Let's do this one. This feels interesting. Ooh, I have no idea what this is. I have no idea what this is. It'll be on the bottom of the screen. Wow! It looks like aloe. Chris, you'll love this. Look at this. Oh yeah, this is kind of cool. Isn't that interesting? That's crazy. It's, I think it's aloe. It's packaged extremely well, even around the base. There's almost no loose soil. What the heck? That is so interesting. Okay, we have four plants left in this box. What is that? Eight, 16. Okay, so there's 16 plants. Ah, I'm so glad I didn't look at the list. It's so much more fun to get surprise boxes because then you just like have no idea. Oh, okay. So. This would be a giveaway plant. We have a second Raphidophora tetrasperma. This is in a much smaller pot, not terracotta, but has much more leaves. I think this might be the tissue culture variety. My back is just suddenly so itchy. I wonder if I got bit by something. Check that out though. That is so adorable. That's so heckin' cute. Oh, maybe I like the smaller one better. I don't know, I don't have to decide now. That is so cute. We got three plants left in here. Ooh, uh, I think this is a fern. PMA, plant me Ashley, that's me. This fern is lush. <gasps> wow, still moist. Plants like this that are just really full make me nervous uh, of pests just because there's so many places they could be. I think we're good. I believe that's a crocodile fern. Let me give you a good view of this crocodile fern. I think it's a crocodile fern. That's what it looks like. I'm still learning ferns. Wow, this is incredible. Such good sized plant. Ooh, okay, so this looks like a lemon lime pothos or a neon. I'm not sure, I always get the names really wrong. It's extremely full. Wow, everything looks good. The only issues I'm seeing, which are issues that are gonna happen if you order from anywhere, are just like little shipping damage stuff, like just like little leaves being a little dented. But other than that, check that out. Who knew you could order such full plants off of Etsy? It's always heckin' cuttings. Not a plant I'll be keeping because pothos are not my thing but I know a friend who will love that. Last plant in this box. Incredible. 
Okay, last one in this box. Okay, I don't want to, I still can't see what it is. <gasps> Ooh, okay. So this is variegated wax ivy or Senecio macroglossus. This plant is one of my very first plants ever. I actually don't have it anymore because it wasn't getting enough light and it died, but I will definitely enjoy taking care of this one. Cool, check that out, that is so beautiful. It would be nice, I will say, if this ever does happen again, I would appreciate price tags. We are moving on to the next box. Wow, that is such a crazy haul, just from one box. I just can't get over this Mikan's. Like, excuse me, what the hell? I gotta find a spot for this bad boy. When they pulled these out for me at the P.O. box, I was like wondering whose boxes those were. And then I went to leave and they were like, oh, those are yours, by the way. And I was like, what do you mean those are mine? They were like, those boxes are yours. Sorry, I got a piece of dirt in my eye. Hopefully it didn't have the virus on it. <gasps> Watch me cut towards myself like an idiot. Oh, a bunch of small plants. We got a bunch of plants. That must have been the big box. This is literally a bunch of small plants. And then there's more, like so many. Oh my gosh, I thought we were almost done. We are not almost done. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Another Rippin' of Tetris Sperma. So I will definitely have some giveaway plants for you guys. What a blessing. I actually cannot keep these plants alive to save my own life. So um, I will definitely be picking one and keeping it. Here is Plants. Sorry if that changed everything. Look at all of that on the floor over there. <laughs> okay. Let's do uh, just what's on top first. Another <laughs> for a Tetris Sperma. What the heck? Well, I have a lot of this plant that I cannot keep alive, so I guess let me know if you want one. The small one. I really like the. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. So they sent me a Piccolo Banda which is one of my all-time favorite peperomias. It probably is my favorite next to String of Turtles. I already have two, by the way, if you don't know, String of Turtles is a peperomia. I have two of these, so I can definitely give this one away. This is in really good shape. Again, I still haven't seen a single pest. Knock on cardboard, that is a running theme. This one is even in inflorescence. Wow, what the heck? This is so amazing. And these are all plants that like I like too, so. Good on her for doing research. Ooh, okay, so we have a small Stromanthe Trio star. Oh, cute, look at that. This plant, this pot has three plants in it versus my other small batches only have one or two, which is really nice. The variegation on this is also very good, and unlike the larger one, this one doesn't have any cold damage. I think I've had another spider, but that's it. Just a very, like, we're talking a millimeter big, tiny little baby spider. Doesn't even, doesn't even count as a spider spider, you know what I mean? Nice little plant corner over here. Let's do this one first just because I can see it. This is... Philodendron Brantianum. Not really a fan of this philodendron. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just how it grows or I think it's the silver. I'm just not really a big fan of the silver in it. I don't know why. It doesn't, it's not like bad or anything. It's just, I don't know. I'm not a super big fan. This was one of the plants I liked in the beginning because it was trendy to like. But now, like I like it, don't get me wrong. It's just not like, I wouldn't probably spend my own money on it. Incredible shape. I'm excited to see what it'll do when it probably like hangs. Right now it's growing up. So maybe I'll put it on total. I don't know. I don't know. Next plant. This is Raven's Easy. All right, here is the Raven's Easy. Super cute, very black. Looks like it's about to actually put out a new stem. Ooh. Y'all. I'm gonna give you two seconds to type type into the comment the number uh, 16 because it's probably what plant we're on and guess. Just type in 16 and guess. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, this is variegated string of hearts. 
It's pretty long. I'm not going to try to worry about untangling right now because I don't want to ruin the leaves. But uh, you can see it's all bunched up in there. Oh, it's going to be hard to get everything to blur. The string of hearts I don't have yet. I also don't have Silver Glory, but I'm not too convinced that Silver Glory is different from the regular one. I think it's just a different leaf variation. She's included a couple doubles so far. I'm hoping maybe she included a double of this because that is an incredible plant to have two of. What if this is a big one? It's also got the toothpick thing going on. I'm trying to cheat, but I can't see. Okay, it is a string of hearts. It is not variegated. This is just as good in my opinion. I am obsessed with this plant. Ooh, it's good too. So we have a trailing string of hearts. Looks like it's just starting out its little journey, but that's all right. I will get it to trail further. It's also wrapped up a little bit, so I can't really, I won't be doing too great of a job showing you. I have three of this variety in my house right now, and they're all almost four feet long, so. Wow, I can't believe she's only freaking variegated in it it's so long. We'll do this one next. Wow, what a fun day. I woke up at four in the morning, and then uh, I slept for 10 hours. So I went to bed at six the night before because I was exhausted. I spent until noon writing a paper. Then after I wrote a paper, I relaxed, hung out with my patrons for a little bit on Discord. After that, packaged plants. I shipped plants. I picked up these boxes. And then I went grocery shopping. And then came home and I were doing this. Then when I come back, I'm going to get a shake and a burger with my boyfriend. And fiance, I mean fiance, we're engaged. I'm gonna play Animal Crossing with my patrons probably. I want to edit this video tonight, but I also am torn between editing and doing nothing. This is, oh, y'all are gonna kill me. Moonlight, Philodendron Moonlight. I'm so bad at knowing these varieties. There's like Macaulay Spinelli, Prince of Orange. I don't know all of their names. There's a bunch of them. I am not a fan of this type. I'll just say it. Of course, she sent me so much stuff. Like, she can't always know what I like. I will be giving this away either to one of my friends in Boise or... But it's in really good shape. There are no pests and no leaf damage on this plant. Impeccable condition. This is a 10 out of 10. There are, like, water spots on it, but that's, like, that's, like, the most there is. We're really getting down to the wire. Wow, we still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven plants left. What a treat. Are you guys happy? Does this make you happy, too? I'm just gonna keep the ones that I really like. I'm probably gonna be giving away at least two-thirds of these. <gasps> uh, okay, this is a rabbit's foot fern. This is one that I know really well, and this is a fern that Christopher likes. Oh, it's so cute. I want to take this off so I can show you. Oh, it's so cute. It's so full. Look at that. Here's a head test. It definitely needs some humidity. It looks like it suffered a little bit from being in the cold. I can feel it's a little cold right now, but other than that, it came in incredible condition and it's got the little rabbit's feet sticking out. Yeah, it's got a bunch of new fronds coming out. Do you guys see this? It's going to look different for you guys. Let me walk through it so you can see. my cat. Hopefully you can see her. Woo, 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 woo. What is all this? What is all this? What is all this? Oh, you're so good. I love this cat. She is my whole world. Is my hair bothering you? Oh my gosh, there's so many plants. I'm not gonna lie, this is the best day of my life. Okay, we have another Philodendron Brantianum. This plant is definitely a little too wet, but if that is our biggest complaint, that is incredible. Literally no pests, minimal damage, incredibly full plants. I feel like you can only find philodendron this big from online when you're buying from like Thailand. Obviously the leaves would be much bigger if it were from Thailand, but these are still pretty incredible. Here's a comparison to my hand. Oh my gosh, there's so many plants. <laughs> All right, this guy, five plants left. <gasps> Oh, this is a plant I have never seen before in person. This is Calathea orbifolia. I never thought I would own one of these. Mostly because you just can't find them anywhere. And the places you can find them charge like so much money for them. I'm not seeing any pests. This plant seems like it suffered a little bit from the cold, so probably don't order Calathea without a heat pack. Just the leaves seem like they need some humidity. But other than that, that is beautiful. Wow, here's a head test. 
I'm not even kidding you guys. I never thought I would own one of these. Ever. In my life. That is beautiful. Keeping that one. How are you guys doing? Are you guys doing good? Ooh. Okay. This is... This is a... I think... Trandoscantia Zebrina. I don't know what kind it is. It's really pretty. I've never seen this in real life. Also, this has only been an online plant for me. I'm not really into these succulently stemmed plants. It's kind of why I don't like Peperomia so much, like most of them. But, ooh, that's incredible. Can you believe that? Okay, this guy, not my thing, but I know people who will like it. It is beautiful, by the way. When I say not my thing, I'm not saying I don't like the plant. I appreciate its beauty. I think that its leaves are gorgeous and seeing the variegation in person kind of makes me want to keep it. I just know that it's not my thing and if I keep it, it's just going to get honestly mistreated. All right. After this one, we have two bigger plants. Oh, see, this is what I'm talking about. There's so many of these. This is, I think, Philodendron Prince of Orange. I've got no idea, honestly. Again, no pests. Everything looks great. I have no idea what this is. It looks amazing. Came packaged amazingly. My best friend Natalie has been dying for one of these in a bigger size, so I will be giving this to Natalie. I love you. Thanks for watching my videos. I miss you. We're gonna take a family photo with all these plants. Okay, here we go. This has chopsticks in it as well. What the heck? Whoa. Okay, so this is probably very special. I have never seen this variety in my life. This is reverse variegated elephant bush. So normally when you see variegated jade elephant bush, you see the variegation on the outside, but this is the Mauna Loa of the elephant bush. It's variegated on the inside. That is crazy. I have never seen anything like this before, ever. I didn't even know this existed. Literally, the stems are just bright pink. I thought, I thought it was flowers at first. The leaves are super waxy and gorgeous. Wow, that is incredible. Let me know if you guys know what this is or uh, if it's rare or not, because I've never, ever, ever seen this before. All right, we're at the last plant. This is our last stop. It appears to be a hanging plant is stapled shut. You're kidding me. Are you kidding me right now? Okay, I will point out this one design flaw. I'll tell you what the plant is first. This is a philodendron micans, again. Um, th this is stapled shut. In stapling it shut, it did staple through one of the leaves, this unfortunate fellow, but every, all the other leaves are fine. All right. Wow, I am so lucky looking like my wingspan. Wow, my patrons are gonna lose their minds when they see this. Oh my gosh, what the hell? This is so cool. I know I've graduated from heck to hell, but that's just how serious I'm taking this. Wow, oh my gosh. You guys, hold on, I need to move this box. It's in the way. Look at this. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Literally, this is the plant I have been searching for. Raven's hiding down there. This is the plant I have been searching for like mad. Like I, all I wanted was to find a trailing one of these. Little did I know I'd have one just sent to my heckin' P.O. box. I think I like this one more. I think it's just a better shape, but I think that's probably just because the box like is smaller. This probably just needs some love. Needs some TLC. For a long time I thought TLC was another word for sunlight until I learned it meant tender loving care. Well guys, let me set all the plants up so they look all nice and then I'll sit down with them and we'll end the video. Raven, are you having fun? What are all these boxes and bags? Oh, you're so soft. <laughs> I put her in a box. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, here's all the plants before I set them up. That's so many plants. Holy crap. Wow, we only have 16% battery left. We did good.
If you watched all the way through this video, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and tweet me at PlantMeAshley. If you want to join my Patreon, it is the first link in the description. That is where you get access to the Discord and the entire community of, of 88 awesome and amazing members that inhabit the Discord. There's always someone to wait for you to talk to, and we have a bunch of different things to talk about. Something super fun that happened the other day is a bunch of people did some trades. If those are something you're interested in, and also Minecraft and Animal Crossing, and a bunch of other fun stuff, come join the Discord. It's so much fun. And it helps support me financially during this hard time uh, when my fiance is furloughed and I'm a college student, no job besides YouTube. <laughs> so if you want to support, uh, please help support. And I will be giving away a lot of these plants on my Instagram. So go ahead over to my Instagram, at PlantMeAshley. And them all, but there is just not enough space in my house. I just sold 35 plants on Etsy to make more room in my house so it wasn't as cramped with plants. I have all these plants back in, uh, which I am very grateful for, but I will not be able to keep them all, so I hope that you can understand. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Health plant section. Hopefully, the quarantine lifts soon and we can actually go look at some nurseries. So, bye! I hope that you liked this video. This was super fun for me to film and super duper relaxing. Okay, bye!